This time on Destination Now, we take you up the California coast on Highway 1, show you some beautiful scenery along the way. Check it out! Hello, I'm Jackie, and this is Nick. We invite you to join us and our dog Trixie on our unique journey as we pack everything up, move into our camper, travel to our favorite destinations, and begin living in the now. Cause I've got no more expectations Gonna take my ass across the nation Been doing this far too long All the time I spend is now too far gone Time to change the pace and lose the face I put on for everyone else Embrace the change and play the game And do everything for myself Hello, hello, hello! So this is where we stayed last night, right on the side of Highway 1. The view wasn't so bad either. Uh, we got to watch the sunset right here from our dining room window. So now uh, we got a few landmarks that we want to see and they're in state parks and I guess the state parks are all closed for some reason because of COVID. This is what I love about living this life on the road. There's a beautiful trail down to some tide pools right here. Just woke up this morning, we were getting ready to leave. Well, what's this trail? We're gonna go find out. Come with us. Come on, secret trail. were two for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car and when I how was it sleeping on the side of highway one it was nice it's pretty quiet until morning when the cars came back we had to hear sea lions all night what do they sound like <laughs> they, they surprisingly stopped in the morning yeah yeah right on where are we going now McFly Waterfall, and it falls off the cliff right onto the sand, and it's in a state park, I guess. We'll see if we can get in. Sweet. Yep. All right. When they name a highway scenic, it's almost guaranteed to be narrow, curvy, and full of hills. California's Highway 1 is no exception. It winds its way along with the coast on one side and lush mountains on the other. And it offers gorgeous views with lots of opportunities to make scenic stops. And of course, when I see a sign for animal viewing, I'm gonna stop. San Simeon's is a popular elephant seal habitat and observing location. And even though it's not breeding season, we still had a chance to see some molting juveniles doing what they do best, resting on the beach. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We're playing loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. So in 1983, there was a big landslide that closed down Highway 1 for a year. And you can still see the scar from that landslide right over there. And that landslide actually provided the sand for all the beaches going south of here, including that gorgeous one with the waterfall. Before the landslide, there was no sand under that waterfall. Really neat. One day that sandy beach will be gone. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes It's really cool And they say if you want a glimpse the future you need space And you said you'll put down your morning guns Would 
This is Rachel. We just Hi. met her. At, yeah, Nick Wayne. Yeah. So uh, she's got this gorgeous van that she's going to give us a tour of. Ah, come on in, please. This is uh, designer showcase and remodeling. Did this are out in Lake Osage Beach in Lake of the Ozarks, but I owe it all to them that I have my tiny home on wheels and step right in. This is my kitchen. Thank you. It is on electric. Look at this bathroom. My goodness. It's a twin size. It is a twin size. But yeah, we have a little doggy crate underneath. Oh, right how there. neat. Yeah, right there, doggy crate. And then cat litter box underneath the workbench. Yeah, pull out table right there. So tell me about your battery bank. Um. Okay, so it's in the back. I can like let you in. Here is the, the solar battery inverter. And it's at 122. It's been staying consistent. Water system is down here. Okay. And here's the all the electrical stuff. I have three batteries. The lithium okay. battery. The 100 mm -hmm. amp hour. Yeah, That's I awesome. That everything that a single girl on the road totally. needs. Nothing more. Let's go. Let's yeah. All right. Let's go for a ride. Field trip. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Upon attempting to enter Pfeiffer Beach, the park ranger at the entrance turned our truck camper away due to the narrowness of the road ahead and our extremely tall height. Luckily, we had invited our new friend Rachel to join us at our previous location, and she very graciously drove us all the way into the park for the day, after allowing us a tour of her new home. Oh, that worked course. out perfect. It did. I'm glad we met, you know, like, now we get to just enjoy. And I didn't hear of this beach, and now I do, so yeah. thank you. I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers. New friends. <laughs> all right, you adventures. Rachel is an educator and brand new to van life. She has been fortunate enough to take her job with her and teaches from new locations while on the road. Her students love learning this way. If you'd like to know more about Rachel, we've put her links in our video description. So we're here at Piper Beach and we've got one of California's little secret treasures here. It's got purple sand on it. It's very subtle, but it's there. You can see it on all the little hills and the sand. And I believe it's due to a high mineral content. But it's really cool. I've never seen a purple sand beach. I've seen green, black, white, the normal color, whatever you call that, tannish. I've seen red sand beaches, but never purple. So, it's a first. The purple sand deposits are a product of erosion from the manganese garnet that washes down the surrounding hills. With or without the famous purple sand, this beach is an amazing find. You're surrounded by waves crashing into large rock formations, and the panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean are spectacular. This is the life for me. <laughs> so, uh, Rachel got two rambunctious, so we tied her up and threw her in the back. And now I'm gonna drive the van. We're still in our van, we hijacked it. <laughs> She's still alive. She's happy to be tied up. Rachel's time. mom and dad, she's still alive. Your grandkitty's still safe. Oh, oh I hear her. I spoke your language. There she is. Turkey worked. Turkey did work. I told you, like, she's such a little fatty. Well, she's a girl. She's food motivated. She is food motivated. That's true. That's we what we'll call it. We don't, we don't weight we shame don't, here. We don't body shame. We don't body shame. We don't fat shame. You're, you're, good girl. you're well fed mm -hmm. and food motivated. Oh, there you go. 
works like a charm every time. Yeah, there's some oh, potholes. Hang on. Oh, she's in my lap. Kitty. Oh, she's in your lap. She wants to look out the window. Good girl. Do you want this, baby girl? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. Don't forget to join us next Tuesday as we travel up the coast to Monterey Bay. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you don't miss any future content.